everybody, it's Debbie here, and welcome back to Halloween week. Um, I am sitting at my desk using nothing but this package of die cuts from K and Company that I got at Dollarama uh, for $3 or $3.50, and some cupcake liners. Um, and my glue gun, that's what I have, that's what I'm working on. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So I'm going to take a cereal box and I'm going to cut. I've used up the ones that I had. So I'm just cutting up some uh, little one inch circles. They don't have to be perfect. I'm not paying attention to where they come from or anything like that in the box. I'm just, these are just some backer pieces. So for me, I have a terrible time trying to make paper cup rosettes. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is what I've been doing. I've been taking my cupcake liner and I've been folding it in half. Let me see if it's there. Is that a little better? A light, maybe? Um, it's daylight outside, but overcast. So, so I fold it in half and then I'm just taking it on the right hand side and I start pushing it and wrinkling it all together, like, like fanning it, scrunching it up. And this is all I've been doing. And when I get it into this nice little bunch like this, I've been taking my scissors and I've been just chopping off the bunch, taking a little one inch circle, putting a little ring of hot glue on it. Then I've been taking this and setting it down right in the middle. And I've been opening it up like this, keeping that centerpiece together. And this is all I've been doing and it doesn't make them perfect, but it makes them. <laughs> so I have this little bunched up rosette. So I've been using these as the background for some of these pieces. So this is what I've made so far. So I've got this little one. Let me see. Um, this is a, a large one that I just flattened out the cupcake liner and did a little bit of bunching on the second cupcake cake liner and then I added a bat. I added some silver lines with my pen and I added some googly eyes. I, I, I like that one actually. Um, and this one, I just added some googly eyes and a spider. It kind of looks like a funky little face. Um, <laughs> this one, I just, I didn't even use a cup like cake liner for this one. I just used a circle and the bottom of the cupcake liner. This is the bottom of this cupcake liner. I actually used it for a center and I just put a little bit of um, gold oh, crepe paper and a little bit of this fluffy stuff behind it and stuck on some stars and yeah, threw that together. And that's all I've been doing. So here's this one and all this is is the spooky sign glued to that little, it's glued to a piece like this. So Oh, there's a few more here. Here's one. Once you've done them, you can cut them down to any size you want to. So this is just a teeny tiny little one. It's about an inch and a half with boo and a purple, no, a black. Yeah, it's black. Um, gem in the middle. And then this little guy. So that's all I've been doing is, is, is uh, working on some of these. So I think that these little die cuts are really, really cute. But when you back them with something like this, look at how much cuter they are. So if I put this on here, you can even turn them over like this so that you can see, isn't that cute? And then you could put some gems or some a, a word or anything like that on them. Also these pumpkin pieces, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just, um, I want one that's a little bit bigger because I actually want to put this. I like this little one. Isn't this cute? This is vacancy. Please join us. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'm going to make one that's pretty much full size. I'm going to bunch this up right down at the bottom. 
and I'm going to just cut off that little flat part. Not too much. The boys are still working outside. Lots of fall work to do. Lots of fall stuff to do. I'm going to put some hot glue on there. I'm going to, just like I showed you, I'm just going to put it down here and start opening it up. I'm not even doing it on, on camera. So I'll just open it up and then push it down in the center. And then, I, it's big enough, I'm going to take my scissors, see how that little piece right here is sticking out a bit? I'm just going to trim that. And the same with this one, just to keep it round. There. Trimming doesn't hurt at all. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it on here, like this. So... Oh, I think our neighbors are finally going on their vacation. They go very late every year. Same as pretty much everybody around here. They have to work all summer. And I just saw their great big travel trailer go by. So put that down on there. And see already that's so much better. And then I have some... I put my oh, there's my black ones. Some little black gemstones right here. So I'm gonna grab five of these, and I'm gonna add a little hot glue to the first one and the last one. I think that's all I need, and I'll trust the those two to hold the other ones down. And I'm gonna put some black trim right on here all these little bits of glue off and then I have another one so this has been um, a nice long week of Halloween embellishments here's another one of those eeks this one's got a little bit of shiny on it so I think I'm gonna use this one So when I went, of course, when I went, there weren't very many um, Halloween, I couldn't find very many Halloween cupcake liners. So this year, I am going to start with Christmas and with Easter and with, so I, the way I collect my napkins, when I see something I like, I'm going to start co collecting my cupcake liners too and sticking them in my stash because it never fails that when you want it it isn't there it just isn't there so let's get this up here you know I haven't even been watching to see if I've been on frame I've just been I gotta go back to work in two days I've just been um, crafting away out here and filming what I've been doing pretty much the whole week. And I've been doing Halloween stuff most of the week. So this one wasn't there. I'm just going to push these, the middle piece, just keep pushing that middle piece in if it comes unrolled like that. So just keep doing that until you have this in glue. And there's not so much glue right there, so I'm going to put a little bit more and stick that down. Ow. Ow. There. So where's that one with the... I like this one because it's got the black and white dots. So if I take this... Yeah, I like the words on this one this time. I'm just going to do that and stick it right on there. Now look how cute that is. I just really like this one. I've already made one like this, I'm sure. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just thought I was going to. Oh, this one I did. I didn't do one with the black and white. So that's another one. So these little embellishments will go on anything. Absolutely anything. So that one. This is cute. That would look cute. Um edged in black and white dots. So this is it. I'm not doing, it's not a new great big tutorial or anything like that. It's just an embellishment idea. 
Um, so use your stuff. This whole week I've been crafting and I haven't used hardly any new stuff at all. This package of die cuts from K and Company and two cupcake liners. I'm pretty sure that that's pretty close to all the Halloween stuff that I bought for paper crafting. I bought a few things for some decor around the house and that's it. If you don't want your um, embellishment to be really tiny, when you glue this onto your little circle, don't push it as tight in the middle. Like don't cut as much off the, the middle and don't push it as tight in the middle. So here's one that's a good size. It's most of the cupcake liner. And I'm going to put <laughs> not cute. This needs to a little wee bit. Not quite round. There. So that's cute. Um, I'm going to put this down. Like this. Then, see this? Is he not stinking cute? He won't fit on there. That's too bad. Um, I'm going to put... Let me just leave that one like that. I'll stick a few of these little things on there. Watch. Just a little added touch, just a tiny little added touch. And that's a nice big one, but that'll look cute in a layout or, you know, just anywhere almost. But look at the difference in the sizes of the ones that I'm making. So I've got this size, I've got this size, right down to, I know I have a tiny, tiny one here somewhere. Um, right down to here. Look how tiny that is, that little wee tiny one. And it's really easy to do that, and I'll show you how. So I have this. There. I'm going in a good ways on this one. Get it kind of even. Cut this off. And then I'm going to. I think I've used up. Oh, no, I haven't. I got one more. So this will be my last one. Um, I'm going to glue my dot. I'm going to put this down on here. There, like that. And then I'm going to take my scissors. And notice this one isn't very square, but that or certain round, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to take my scissors and I am going to cut it down to a teeny, teeny, tiny little wee. This will be about an inch. There, so just a teeny, tiny little wee tiny rosette. Throw this piece away and then I am going to put something small, just something small like, um, let's see if I can find, how about a set of these eyes and a little word. Oh, I don't even have to do that. I can just do this. So I have this, I love these, these little October 31st bells. There's quite a few of them in here. So I'm just going to, and I think they're just adorable just as the date. But imagine if you're going to put them in your planner or something like that. Why not back them on a little tiny wee scrap like this and make them something that's 
popped up a tiny little bit because these are pretty flat. They're pretty flat. But they go in your planner just dandy. So just the little bits of orange and purple and black and green around that just make this more. And that's all I'm going for here is taking my embellishments that I have and adding stuff together so that they're a little bit more. Um, so that's it. That's all I have for you today. But look at how cute these all are. I'm going to move these ones. These are the ones from the package. I'm going to move those ones. And... Yeah, like just look. There. So how fast can you build your stash when you're using little bits and putting them together like this? Whoops, that's my, take these out of the way so that, see I told you there's a lot of October 31st in there. So look. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. <laughs> Can't count. So I have nine of these little embellishments and it took me, you know, 10, 15 minutes here. Um, yeah, I talk more than I craft. So that's it. Um, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this series. And um, I have a little something coming up. Oh, I got one more back here. Uh, so 10 made with the cupcake liners. Um, so, yeah, um, if I've got another little Halloween project coming for Monday, um, and it's more of a decor piece than an, an embellishment piece. So make sure you tune in for that. It's something that I've made um, every single year I've made some for the longest time and it's something that you put away and you can get out and treasure and use over and over and over again. So bye bye for now and have a great day and I will see you in the next video.